is this in focus hi youtube welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is tina and i make videos all about well kind of whatever i want but <laughs> Usually I make videos about makeup, lifestyle, and DIYs, but today I'm sharing with you my anomaly dress reveal. So if you haven't watched my previous video, I talk all about why I went with anomaly, how much it costed me, and the process of it. So if you haven't seen that video and you're interested in hearing me talk about my experience, go to that video before watching this one. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the dress as well as show you kind of the details of it and how it looked in the sketch versus how it came out in real life. So looking at the sketch that I approved, I wanted a sweetheart neckline with lace as well as 3D floral lacing and tiered ruffles. So the style that I wanted was an A-line dress with a little bit more volume because I didn't really want a ball gown necessarily, but I wanted something with a little bit more volume so I could fill up the space, especially since I had a 500 person wedding. So I wanted to make sure that my dress was going to be as grand as my wedding was going to be. And if you look at it, another detail that I wanted in the dress was having detachable straps. So I sent them kind of the inspo pick of what I wanted my straps to be. I wanted to have the option to have them on or off, depending on if I was going to be dancing or if I wanted to be a little bit more modest and have straps. But this was my overall vision. And this dress was actually based off of a dress that I tried on previously in a store. So I sent them plenty of pictures of that actual dress from different angles so that I can get the overall feel as close as possible to that dress. So as I had mentioned previously, I received the dress on July 12th and that gave me enough time to bring it to the tailors and get any alterations done. Before I talk about all of that, let me show you the dress. So let's get into it. <laughs> so here is my dress. So it comes in this bag and it comes in with a different hanger. I have the hanger that I got as a gift from my friend Kathy and it's super cute. It says Mrs. Mac on it. But the one bad thing is my dress keeps falling off the hanger so that's why it's not on it. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to preserve this dress or not and keep in mind that I already wore this dress for my wedding day so it is not in the same shape that it was when I first got it but I will show you the overall dress. Oh, oh man, it's looking rough after wearing it on my wedding. So as you can see with my dress, I went with a sweetheart neckline and I went between an A-line and a ball gown size dress because I knew that I was having a huge guest list and my venue was actually going to be big. So I wanted a dress that was going to be a little bit bigger to kind of go with the space. Oh my God, this is kind of funny because I actually spilled Coke all over it the night of the wedding. Um, and luckily we poured club soda on it and it got it all out, but I'm like seeing the stain right here. So in the close-ups, I'll try not to get that. So overall, the quality of the dress is pretty well made. There is some boning in here, which is really nice, especially since it is a sweetheart neckline. So you want to make sure that it's holding you up. Also for the back of the dress, I opted for just a simple zip. It was supposed to be an invisible zip, but I will go into details of why it is not invisible anymore. I knew that I was going to be changing in and out of this dress during the reception, so I wanted it to be as quick and easy as possible for me to get in and out of it. Let's go into the things that didn't go right when it came to my dress. Ooh, okay. So let's talk about the detachable straps that I wanted. Originally, I wanted them to be crisscross straps. So I sent the inspo picture to the team and they were able to make something that was similar with the lace that I had chosen for my dress. Except when the straps came, they actually did not look anything like the ones I had sent. I was very disappointed that it did not have that kind of shape where it was wider and then it got skinnier. And when I tried it on, it just didn't look right. I was kind of disappointed in that. I ended up not using the straps at all. And that's kind of originally why I chose to do detachable straps because I was scared that if I didn't like them, I could always not use them. And that's ultimately what ended up happening. I did ask to see if they could remake me some straps that were more similar to the ones that I sent in the inspo picture, but they were not able to accommodate that. They kind of just said that maybe the tailor could do something to help fix it so it was more in line with my vision, but I just didn't want to like spend extra money and time to do that. So the detachable straps were a no-go for me. 
Another big thing that differed from my sketch versus my dress is actually the back of the dress. So I thought it was going to have the same tiers in the front as it did in the back. Unfortunately, it does not. So if you take a look at the back of my dress, it's actually more of a straight edge and it doesn't have those tapered V's on the back like it does in the front. And originally in my inspo pictures and in the dress that I originally tried out, it had those layers in the back. So when I first tried it on, I didn't even realize that that wasn't included in the dress until my sister kind of pointed it out and I was like, oh wait, you're right, like the volume is definitely missing from the back. So in my email to the Anomaly team, I did tell them about the missing V layers in the back and how I was kind of disappointed that volume was missing from the back. So they were able to accommodate and send me extra material so that my tailor could actually put it underneath the layers and give some volume to the back. That ended up actually working out fine and I ended up loving the dress in the end, especially the back because it kind of did have that extra volume even though those tears were missing from it. So when it came to my zipper, it was supposed to be an invisible zipper. And unfortunately, while I was going to the tailors and getting it on and off, she was saying how the zipper was getting caught all the time and it even started ripping. So one thing that the tailor actually told me was that the zipper that they used on my dress is probably not the best and not the most sturdy zipper to use. She had to seam rip it out and kind of put in a new zipper that would hold up better. So if you're making your anomaly dress with a zipper, I would suggest that you ask them to make sure that it is going to be a very sturdy zipper that will hold you up throughout the entire day. I'm not sure if they offer different types of zippers or if they use the same one for all the dresses, but it's worth asking, especially since you are going to be wearing this day and night. So when it came down to the fit of the dress when it arrived, I realized that it was a lot bigger around the midsection, which is totally fine because I would rather have something be bigger than not fit at all. So when I got to the tailor, she was able to take it in on the top, but everything else fit totally fine with me. I was kind of surprised that it didn't fit more snug, especially since you are sending in your own measurements. But I'm thinking Anomaly does that on purpose, so then if it doesn't fit you perfectly, you are able to at least fit into it and then get it taken in versus the opposite. Letting it out is way harder than taking in a dress, so I was totally okay with paying the tailor to do that. When it came down to finding my tailor, I went to someone more local so I can go in and out as the weeks pass by and it got closer to my wedding. Anomaly does have some preferred partners that they are able to recommend to you, but I ended up going with someone more local instead. When it comes down to actually tailoring my dress, I paid about $150 to get it taken in as well as adding the bustle and even adding that extra material that I had sent from Anomaly to add volume to the back of my dress. Even though I had to make some additional changes to the dress after I had received it, I think that overall I still loved my wedding dress. It turned out really nice and everyone gave me compliments throughout the night and they were kind of asking me like, oh my god, you like designed this? And I'd be like, yeah, I did. At the end of the day, I felt really beautiful in it and I thought it was very suiting to my personality. When I tried on dresses in the stores, I just felt like some of them were just not me at all. The lacing was maybe too much or the beading wasn't exactly how I wanted it to be. Even though there were things that did not go according to plan with my dress, I still would choose this dress over any of the dresses that I had tried out in the stores. Also, it could be that I am a perfectionist, so every little detail really does matter to me. And if you're the same way, I would suggest that you really nail it down with your stylist before committing and signing that document before they get into production. Overall, I would recommend Anomaly to any bride looking for a dress, especially since it is a cost-effective way to get your dream dress. And to me, it was really special that I got to create something that I had envisioned that I couldn't find in stores. If you have any questions about Anomaly, please leave them down in the comments below. I would love to answer your questions and help you out as best as I can. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you would like to see more from me, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Am I blurry this whole time?